I believe you are the most privileged generation that has ever lived. Not because of where things are in America right now, but because of where God is taking things. I don't believe there's ever been a generation that's going to experience what you experience. I believe you're going to be privileged with the greatest outpouring of the Holy Spirit that any generation has ever experienced. That means there's something in the DNA of this generation that has an intuitive ability to connect with the realm of the Spirit, the supernatural, to hear from God, to see the things of the Spirit, to dream the dreams of heaven, to see visions from heaven. There's something in this generation that is, that it will, for them it will come more easily than any other generation, but it is waiting to be awakened in some of you. Open. declare and I decree today that your spiritual senses have just been awakened. I see that your eyes are open and you can see. I see that your ears are open and you can hear. I see that your tongue is loose and you can speak the word of the Lord. I say that your hands will touch things of God and bring them into the earth. Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. What happened? received the good news I have been adopted and my daddy he's a king Come on, come on, this is all you 
whose name is said. Bowing takes place on three realms. Heaven, earth, and hell. Not just any king. They say he's the king of kings. And this king, he calls me son. Me, son. He purchased me. I've got the papers to prove it. Signed in blood. His blood. But ever since that day, we've been at war. I guess he did not like the fact that I was now royalty. My twin, that is. We've been inseparable from birth. We came from the same womb. Both born into the dim shadow of a fallen world where angels have become demons. Their jobs once ministering around the throne, now enemies of it. They've been strung along through chaos by none other than the accuser of the brethren himself. Who every day, he brings my charges before this throne. And every day, I find myself being drugged to this place and left alone. Not just any king. right here because losing him is actually the first step to him living 